Hi, I'm Mr. Beer. And I'm Mr. Beer Jr. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Bear, Bear Cave. Cave. Today is part nine of our walkthrough of the Legend of Zelda classic, Breath of the Wild. We've gotten to the Hitino Ancient Tech Lab. We've met Pura and Simon? Oh, uh, yeah. Something like that. And uh, they've helped us out. Um, but in order for them to help us out more, we have to get the blue flame to light their furnace so that the Guidance Stone can uh, fix our Sheikah Slate so it's fully operational. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so well, the first thing we got to do is go over here and get rid of one of our not as good weapons. I don't think we really need these anymore. Um, Oh yeah, I can stop it right here in the inventory. Because we are going to need this torch. So we can grab the flame. And if we run out here, there's our horse. And use our scope, we can see down uh, at the bottom of the hill, see that glowy thing? That's that furnace right there. So let's go ahead and place uh, a pin there. And we're going to go ahead and fly down. Paraglider sure is handy, isn't it? Alright. Bulls and cows and sheep and things. And things. Things and stuff, even. Yes, yeah, stuff. So we're going to fly right down to the furnace here. Um, this is a, a point at which you might want to check the weather, um, because if it starts raining, it will put out our torch. But if you notice in the lower right-hand corner, right below where it says 4.10 p.m., uh, it looks like it's going to be sunny for a while. And after that, clouds, but I don't see any rain. So let's start our quest. It'd be nice if you could run right across here. You could actually run behind there. But you can't jump across that river or that there. Um, that lantern will go out. So we've got to go the long way here. There is a shortcut you can take, but... We're going to go through the village. Go ahead and light these uh, lanterns. It's good to light the lanterns uh, just in case your torch goes out so you don't have to run all the way back to the furnace. Just run back to the last lantern you lit. And just keep running lantern to lantern. Who's malfunctioning? Why, why were you malfunctioning? Did you see how still I was? Oh. No, I'm playing a game. Oh, yeah. Alright. Indeed. Alright, we keep running up the hill. You can see, uh, you know, up in the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab, up in the distance. La 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 yourself, lady. La la la. The name of the rapper. Yeah, there are many songs with la la la's in them. The name la la la. All right. Well, we could take a minute to read here. La 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 is also a character from Kirby. Oh, is it? Does make sense? Okay, keep mm -hmm. going towards you know ancient tech lab. And there it is up on the hill. Whoops. And I accidentally hit B, which put it away. And luckily, we got our thing right here, which allows us to light it, and we don't have to go all the way back to the front. Indeed. Let's hit the correct button this time. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm yourself, dude. All right. Keep heading up the hill. You're almost there. Night is falling soon, so let's get indoors if we don't want to 
It messes with no more stale creatures. Yeah. Ugly mugs, huh? Excellent. And here we are up top at the furnace itself. And the nice thing about that, we can go ahead and put away our, uh, got an update in our adventure log. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's report to the director, see what she's got for us. And the nice thing is, is now we have a travel gate, so we can zoom back here anytime we'd like. Okay, director, lay it on me. In the game. Uh, I had nothing to say, which is very rare. You should enjoy it. A thing happened. Now we've added a camera. And the camera comes in useful in all sorts of ways later. Close to there. Close to there. Oh, and we'll get into what all of these things mean in a little bit here. But uh, we've got a magical camera now on our sheet display. Mm -hmm. It's basically a Hyrulean smartphone. Mm -hmm. oh, I will phone so There we go. Let's take a picture. And uh, let's zoom back up. Why not? Let's talk to her. Say, so here you go, Pura. Picture taken. It's awesome. Yes, we got a very kawaii picture of you. Kawaii indeed. Wow! You know who it is. Don't be coy with me. Old landscape photos. Huh. Wow. Okay, back to Impa. Ah. Some ancient materials. So, we get fun. <laughs> We're definitely going to do that in a moment here. But, um, first let's go talk to Impa. See what that side quest is. Ooh, Robbie. Slated for upgrades. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the travel gate rather than wandering all the way back over. We're just going to zoom right to the closest shrine. And there's a nice thing about this game. Usually, wherever you need to go, there's a shrine pretty close by that'll just zoom you right there, which is convenient. Although, if you zip and zoom everywhere, you miss out on a lot of things. So, sometimes it's good to take the long way. Only sometimes. Though. Yeah, depends upon what you're doing. But, you know, you can't gather materials and things like that. You know? And, you know, you need to be able to gather materials to do side quests. There's all sorts of things, you know, that sometimes the long way makes sense. Lina Imper. There's some shrooms underneath this uh, thing. Yeah. yeah, those will be useful because we can use those when we're trying to uh, catch our wild horses. 
we're going to have to do at some point. Mm -hmm. All right, get some stamella shrooms. Okay. <laughs> nice thing about this game is you can climb up just about anything. All right, Impa, lay it on me. What's the dealio? So she's given us another. So we've got captured memories. And she said go to at least one of the places with a captured memory. And she'd give us a little something something. So I'm going to drop down here. And uh, I kind of want to fly over to the Hada Hammer Shrine. And now we're going to take the slow way back to Hatino Village so that we can collect the parts in here so we can trade for a, a Sheikah Slate upgrade. What do you think about that? Uh, Either that or we could go to try to unlock the first of our locked memories. I think we should try the Memorah. Try the Memorah? Okay. I think, I think the closest one is in somewhere like in near Lanayu. Mm. We need a little bit more cash. So we're going to go run in here real quick, and you'll see why in a minute. I want to sell. Um, let's sell like five of these. Keep a few around just in case. And, uh, that should be good for you. <laughs> Okay. Sounds like me when I'm cold. He's still freaking out about his precious cuckoos. Oh boy. Okay. And there's this guy running along. And actually, let's sit by the fire till morning. Don't want to deal with any stale monsters on our next phase of the journey. Yes. And let's go talk to Kiango. <laughs> All right. So we've got to find the fairy fountain. Fairy fountains are very useful in the game. And we're going to follow this fella along. Tango, let's go tango. Yeah, not really, kiddo. Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right, Pekingo. Picture of the last longer. There's a bloopy. I don't think we're slick enough to catch this one. Oh, nope. Not even close. But if you manage to hit the bloopy, 
uh, it'll um, shoot out some rupees, which is kind of silly. So before we approach that fairy fountain, what I'm going to do is come back here and crouch, and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to approach it really slowly, because just like all the little bugs and insects and little critters that run off, these are their little fairies. And those little fairies are basically like save games. So if you get taken out by a monster, what will happen to you, it will uh, heal uh, all, all of your wounds and uh, basically keep you from dying. So you get like a... Above me. It'll come down at some point. Come here. Right. So another one over here. Easier to get. Mm -hmm. I'm not flying too high. Indeed. So grab those blue nightshades. And that little fairy there. Mm -hmm. It seems a little elusive. But look, it's getting lower and lower, so I might be able to grab it now. I'm going to be a little patient. There we go. That's all we can carry for now. Uh, there's a little trick. Um, generally speaking, you can only have five fairies, but there's a little trick that you can do to uh, catch more. We've got some blue nightshades, and we've got some stamella, which will help us catch our uh, wild horse later. So here's an endura carrot. Those are useful as well. Yeah, they can make potions with fairies, absolutely. Um, it tends to irritate the fairy, of course. Um, no fairy wants to be mushed up into the potion for some weird little mute elf person. Weird little elfy boy. And you can kill wild beasts for meat. Or some raw meat. Boars uh, don't have particularly a... Uh... Oh, there's a lizard. Grab that. High tail lizard. Lizards are pretty uh, gosh darn elusive, and uh, they're hard to spot, but you keep your eye out for them because high-tail lizards end up being really useful for um, upgrades. And what are upgrades, you may ask? Well, I am about to show you. We go over to the fairy fountain, now that we've collected all the things. Oop. Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Waste of an arrow. Oh. Hundred rupees. Great fairy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> mm. Let's enhance away. Now the only thing we can really enhance, because we haven't gotten too many special uh, uh, clothing items yet, but we did get the climber's bandana, and looks like we already have the materials to enhance it. So ah. let's go ahead. And upgrade it. Mm. <sighs> All right, and if you notice, it upped our defense points from three to five, making it just a little bit stronger. All right, we'll see ya. And then, 
we can always come back to the ferry. There are three other great ferries located throughout the game. For now, let's grab that photo that Tango was into, and we'll go back to him, show him a uh, photo, and then continue along our way um, to unlock our first memory. Looks like it's getting rainy. We can go. Uh... Yes, I like the rain too. I find it soothing. Great fairy fountain. Oh, I found it, dude. <laughs> I'm, of course. Thanks, Pekanga. All right, we found our first fairy fountain. So uh, let's stop there. Uh, thank you for joining us for part nine of our walkthrough of Breath of the Wild, the Legend of Zelda classic. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing. And we will see you in part 10 as we continue our quest to unlock our first memory. Love you guys. See you soon.